And we're back here in La 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 Las Vegas. Bringing you the coverage of the American Inline Hockey League. I'm Dave Gardner with the Ratcast as we get set up here on a nice day in Las Vegas. Try to get some of the, the volume going here. Jimmy, why is my volume so low? I don't know. I don't know when the volume's a little low. Here we go. Adam, can you hear me over there? Okay, is that good volume? Too high, too low? All righty. How about now? Can you hear yourself now? Uh, yeah, now I can hear there myself pretty good. All right. Again, we're back here live from Las Vegas. We've got the elite game between the Las Vegas Aces and the Silicon Valley Quakes. And we kind of just threw a uh, good buddy Adam Steele <laughs> on the camera, kind of impromptu over there. But you're doing a great job. Oh, yeah, yeah. I have no idea how to operate a camera, come to watch and have some fun here. And... Uh, <laughs> I have no idea what I'm doing. Oh, we had a lady on camera yesterday. She was fantastic. So Yeah, well, most ladies are fantastic. <laughs> it's <laughs> it, just not me. Well, you're doing a great job as we get a power play right now. Yeah, power play opportunity here for the, uh, for the Quakes. The Quakes. The Quakes. Now, are you, you familiar with some of these teams, Jeff, from uh, this area? Oh, come on. I follow you guys uh, exclusively. Come nice. on. Nice. Come on. Are you on our Twitter feed? No. Uh, I, I, that's one of, that's, see, that's one of my things, you know. I mean, I'm not really uh, up on uh, on all the social media and everything. It's just that's not, uh, you know, I do. Whoa, we got yeah, a short hand. That's good. <laughs> a little shorty wow, right there. Oh, we're talking here. We got a shorty being scored. Well, it's not bad. It's a good start for the Aces. <laughs> so right off the bat, it's about four minutes and 56 six seconds into this one, and the Aces go up by a goal. And they maintain control, too, which is uh, surprising. Seeing Silicon's already down, you know, one game. It uh, doesn't look like they have too much desperation here, Dave. Yeah, well, we watched them yesterday, and they were dominant. I'll have to go find the score from yesterday. I believe it was, uh, was that the 5 nothing game? I, I can't remember. I'm going to check on that. Yeah, well, it was a pretty, pretty one-sided game for the Aces, getting terrific goaltending from Branson Corsetia. That might have been a, a shutout. And our camera lady has arrived, Adam, so. Oh, thank the Lord. <laughs> Every, everyone that's actually tuning in is, is going to say thank you. I, I will stop getting sick now. All right, hang on one second. We're going to make the swap with Adam and come right back to the action between the Silicon Quakes. And it was a 5 nothing Aces win in game one. Looking to close out the series. Shot. Say rebound in front. Of course, with a save. The puck bounces away. And it was a huge glove save, the first stop he made there. It was. Looks like Jacob Hickey, 96, might have got that puck in the face as it was bouncing around. 41 to go on the man advantage. Wrist shot high and wide by the Quakes. As ripping one on the net with Joey Atkins. Comes back to center now. And it's Jacob Hickey. Ace is staying pretty deep and tight right now. Very defensive. Again, this is game two. Shot just went wide, of course, it's here between Silicon Valley and La 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 Las Vegas. Hey, careful how you say that. Yeah, it's just how we do it. <laughs> High above ringside here. A little cooler today, it feels like. Then again, it is early in the morning. Of course, the Tia tried to pick that off out of midair, couldn't do it. Chair is trying to break. He couldn't get it. Now the pass comes into the side, and that's not by Corsetia. Again, zero pressure from the Quakes, even with the extra man. Yeah. I think that's Manganaro wearing 62. He made that swap yesterday. Shot, nice save at the other end. I think I don't know if that's Kleinsman to Johnson in the net. We'll have to check on that. Shots are 3-2 on this power play uh, in favor of the Quakes. Uh, two shots for Las Vegas on the uh, shorthanded goal as well. And again, no pressure by the Quakes here as we come back to even strength. Yeah. Yeah, I noticed that. Las Vegas moving in again. A wrist shot, and that goes wide. Tyler Myers was huge in game one for the Aces. He was the king of Aces. How's that sound? <laughs> we like to call him that, too. He bought a stick out of my pro shop. So, uh, oh, very nice, very nice. <laughs> so, of course, you know, he's, he's got the magic touch today. Michael Park with the puck for the Quakes. is 7.15 to go here in the first half of game two. one nothing. Foe, the Aces. It's only the second time the Quakes have actually set up and attempted a breakout out of their own zone, so uh, maybe maybe it's a little uh, light at the end of the tunnel for these guys. 
It could be. Myers now passes it up. Lombardo. He connects with Manganero. In front, poke checked away as Timmy Mullis was cruising through the Quake slot with the puck. Quake's now going to control some pace here, it looks like. They're going to set up again, so this could be something for them. Get something going right, eh? Hey. Okay. <laughs> up next, we have game two between Delco and Long Island Elite matchup. Shot saved by Corsetia. Delco took that game. Shot to save by Corsetia, and he's going to hang on. Delco won that one 5-3 to three yesterday. And then after that, we have our first game three and only game three of the minor leagues. And that would be, Jimmy, who would that be? <laughs> yeah, that would be Las Vegas Aces taking on the, uh, the Quakes, right? In minor league action. A little break off the draw here for Vegas. Just seems like uh, Vegas has got a little bit of legs here as the shot goes wide there. Quakes are coming down a little, little fast break, three on three. Yeah, the puck goes out of play now with just under six to go. Actually, that was a nice glove save there by uh, Corsetia. Adam, you want to turn the camera over to our lady Kala? Kala, you'll set Oh, the yeah, she'd, she'd, be, she'd be much better at this <laughs> than me. All right, hang on one second. And we're back. We got uh, Adam right next to us in the booth now. Kind of. This is so much of a better view over here. <laughs> it's hard to do. <laughs> it's hard to do both at the same time. <laughs> Quakes grab a little three-on-one here. Yeah. See if they can tie this one up. Moving in. Snapshot. There goal! you go. That's the first goal of the weekend for the Quakes. Looks like Sp Spencer Marcus. I tell you, Blake Peckham broke out of that play, and everybody was watching him. He's a pretty speedy guy down the right yeah. wing side. Let's take a look at the replay right here, Adam. Yeah, Peckham playing a nice decoy on the uh, far side yeah. and uh, freezing the defenseman there. So it's you know sections off that little two on one, and that's really tough to stop in this game of roller hockey. Yes, it is. So one to one our score. Still a heck of a shot there off the uh, the sidebar there. It was. We call that the post. <laughs> <laughs> It's just a hockey term, I guess. Yeah, you, you've got you've got all those weird sorts of hockey terms. <laughs> yes, we, we make up our own. That's yeah, what we do. <laughs> uh, my my favorite is still overtime. <laughs> Not trying to jinx anything here, but <laughs> what's, what's so funny about overtime? You call it bonus hockey. Oh, <laughs> that's that's still my favorite one. Yeah, my favorite is the Texas dozen. That's my favorite. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord! Quakes with a little bit of. Jumping their step right now, comes off the sideboards. Seems like all four guys are moving their feet now. Everybody, uh, everybody woke up. Yeah, this is David Puckett with it now. Sends it across to his line mate. As the Quakes now set it up, Puckett getting it back, dancing with it. Now sends it back to the point. Hop by uh -oh. his man. Oh, his on his horse. Manganero trying to get there, but getting back quickly. Joey Atkins, 19, out of Puckett. Puckett. Throws in, look at the act, it's kind of a blind pass, couldn't get to it. And it's cleared around by Chairs. Chairs trying to get away from his man. And swooping in is Manganero. Manganero all the way over to Myers. Tyler Myers is trying to get in there, but he's going to be beaten to the puck by Jacob Hickey. And Quakes break it out two on two. Now all the aces coming back. It's not a snapshot, I was going to say save. Waffle save, of course, Atia. Little break here. It was. Myers now two on two. Myers screenshot, hit a skate, and went out of play. We're going to take a look at some of our Pass Cup winners here, Adam, as we go to our snazzy graphics. Pass Cup winners, uh, inaugural season, 2008-2009, Steel City Phantoms. That, that was, was a good squad. That was over in Philadelphia, I believe. And then down in Orlando on ESPN3 in 2009-2010, Huntington Beach. And then the last two seasons out in Pittsburgh, and then in Huntington Beach, the Oakland Good Life. 
taking yeah. those two as we take a look at our past. Tough, tough, uh, tough seeing them uh, not try and vie for the three-peat there. Uh, yep. You know, Travis Suyeshi, uh, good kid, uh, you know, big part of that team right there. And uh, big shout-out to him if he's watching. I miss him. Puck goes behind the quake net. Penalty up coming. Penalty coming up. Yeah, Hall's getting hauled down. It was one of the aces. Didn't get the number on it. Goaltender heads to the bench. That's a long skate for the goalie there in the first <laughs> half. He's got to go three quarters the length of the court. I need to stop and take a break if that was me. Yeah, amen to that. <laughs> Troy Lake, number nine, sends it back to Manganaro. We got a delayed call. 250 left to go yep. first half. It's a tie game. Manganaro sends it off on the wing. So they get two aces in front as they try to double down in front of the net. Ah! Wow. Not bad, huh? Wow. I'm full of Shot and a. I think we had up. the. Uh, I think we had possession right in yeah. front of the net there before yeah. the uh, the shot got taken. Well, I'm I'm pretty surprised here. I've known James Manganaro a long time, former Iska Grizzly there at the uh, the point had a wide open lane right through center. I'm I'm surprised he didn't fire that puck. No, he did not. But so he'll be uh, he'll be staying out there with the yeah. uh, power play crew. Yeah, we got a Las Vegas power play coming up. We gotta get a sponsor for the power play. You know? <laughs> like the, uh, you know, the Las Vegas, you know, Count Chocula power play or something like that. You know what I mean? I, I hey, I could shamelessly plug my place if anybody. <laughs> uh, I don't think anybody would be interested, but that was a weak shot right there. A little break. Yeah, that Quakes stealing the puck right there, skating around with it. Spencer Marcus with it, and the aces steal. Comes back in his zone. No hurry. Manganaro's going to set it up again for the Aces. Yes, he is. They're skating four on three for the next 125. Manganaro in deep goes to the net. Looked like they were trying to set up a or to Sanderson right there. Didn't quite work. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still surprised, though. The, uh, the Quakes are playing away from the play, and uh, given everybody that shooting lane, and the Aces have taken it a number of times and constantly missed wide, so uh, it's kind of interesting how they're, they're leaving shooting lanes open for these guys, and they're either missing or not taking, so uh, the Aces take advantage of that. They've, they've got a good shot. And there it is. Now, and that goes up and out of play. I want to say if you're watching the game at home today, you got Twitter, look us up, send us a message. At Ratcast is our Twitter. And if you want to send us a text, and we got a ton of text last night, Adam. I don't know if you were watching the broadcast, but we put up our text line, 304-300-9889. And people are texting in from all around the country, rooting on their team, rooting on their favorite players. That's awesome. Yeah, uh -huh. I caught part of the broadcast last night. I Unfortunately, like most of the people uh, in this industry, I, I have a full-time job, so it's kind of tough to catch it all the time. But uh, no, I caught part of the broadcast. There's not, no, nothing more that I, I miss than listening to you, Dave. <laughs> You're my favorite co-host. <laughs> <laughs> Las Vegas in the last 27, I'm in advantage. Really not pressing, not taking any shots right now. No, they're, uh, I think they're just waiting for that perfect opportunity, and the Quakes are letting, they're sitting back and letting them walk in. And now we've got a tripping call coming. It's going behind the net. It was Darren Corsetia. And now the shot towards the net is going to be touched up with 10 to go. So they'll have a two-man advantage for 10 seconds. Of course, Atiyah is a big guy to knock down there behind the net. Yes, it he was is. just having your stick in the wrong spot does not work yeah. for the Quakes. So we have a extended power play, you could say. Yeah, uh, if, if all goes well, the Aces jump up. If not, they still got the power play going into the second. Yeah, 49 to go. In the half, 10 to go on the man advantage, the two-man advantage. Comes back to the point, see if they can get a quick shot away off to the side. They move it in front, pass across. Couldn't get the pass clean. Did have a shot, but he had to play it with his skate. That was Timmy Mullis. Mullis gets it back again. Mullis back to the point to Lake. Lake throws it towards the net in a screen. That hit a skate. Trying to skate out of the pack was Pocket. And 20 seconds left yeah, to go on the period. 20 seconds to go. Four on three. Four on three action now as the man's out of the box on the first penalty. A one-time shot and fanning on it. Timmy Mullis got the heel of the stick on that. Seven seconds left. See if they can get one last shot. Five, course to you. So that's a big wrist shot, go save. And it's cleared away at the buzzer. So the, uh, maybe a moral victory there for the Quakes. Killing off one and then part of another before the end of the half. 
Well, I would I would say patience has definitely played a uh, a great point there for the Quakes, uh, without a doubt. It's keeping them in. Yeah. So it's one to one after one. I don't know if we got any highlights from that. <coughs> Here's the uh, first goal here by the Quakes. It was on the two on one, maybe even a three on one. It was, here. A, it was a three on one yeah. and isolated the defender and uh, had the opportunity to step in and. I tied the game up for them, and uh, I think that's, uh, you know, again, just uh, a test right there for, uh, you know, the Quakes is to use their patience right now. Uh, the, the Aces are not capitalizing on their opportunities. They've got so many chances to, to take some shots early, and uh, if it was early and often, I, I think they'd uh, have a couple of more goals, definitely, uh, definitely a bunch more shots, but uh, I think uh, if the Quakes stay patient and maybe control the game a little bit better, they got a chance to come out of, uh, out of the game with it. Got a little little kill here, about a minute 15 to go, but um, you know it could be an interesting second half. We'll see. Uh, we'll see who shows up. Yeah, good point there, Adam. As we start for some of our graphics here. Yeah, that's what this game needs: more graphics. <laughs> Yeah, well, you see that little schnazzy graphics up here? We have our Lee West <laughs> matchup. You know, I, I don't know how they look on a computer, but up here in our little monitor. I, I, I tell you, you know what? I've, I've had the chance to watch it a couple different ways, and, and you know what? It's, uh, you know, you're the only game in town, so <laughs> every, every way that you do it, brother, is, is beautiful. Well, considering, you know, it's... Uh yeah, you know, we don't have a full production TV studio. I, I don't well, think no, we, but I, I mean, I, I have to say, just just you know, just being able to watch the game the past couple of years with you, and uh, you know, seeing the score in the lower corners, and uh, you know, or sometimes you put it in the upper corners, it's uh, you know, fantastic. See, there's 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 that play that the Aces have to make. They have to take that shot early and often is is going to wear down the Quakes with a short bench, and and they just got to take those opportunities. So a man advantage for Las Vegas. They get the power play. Shot was bouncing around. Skated away, here go the Quakes on his horse, Spencer Marcus with it, trying to get around Troy Lake, but Lake is going to make the steal. 36 to go in the man advantage, just underway, and we had a fresh Texas Dozen on the scoreboard, 15 <laughs> minutes. <laughs> I coined uh, that phrase, you know. Oh, it, trust me, it, I know. It never cut on, but that's perfectly <laughs> fine. Shot and a save. Skated away now by Hickey. He's being bumped by Myers. Hickey still controls the puck. Great penalty kill in there. Tried to skate through Myers, couldn't do it. Now he's thrown against the boards. Myers had the puck go right by him. Comes back to the point. Controlled by the Aces. Snap shot. That goes wide. He's getting that on the net was Jimmy Murray. Actually, I should say he got it wide in the net. And getting back was Troy Lake. Just a little confused here with uh, what, the, what the Aces are doing here, sending, uh, I wouldn't say an inferior unit, but after a nice long rest, not going back with their top guys. Yeah, nice little dipsy do through the middle. Collided into one of the defenders and breaking out now is Joey Atkins. Atkins, a right-handed shot. Shot gets it on the net and a save by yeah, Corey Satir and he hangs on. Now, Adam, Waiting we're going to take, take a look at the last round of the playoffs. We're going to see how the teams got here. First was Las Vegas, a 5-3 win, and then a 6-2 win as they swept Phoenix in round one. In round two, it was Vegas over the OC Vanquish, but then the Vanquish came back with an OT win in game two before Las Vegas took game three 2-1. Two to one. So that's how Las Vegas get here, and we'll take a look at the Quakes at the next break. More snatchy graphics. How, how the West was won. <laughs> Not bad, not bad. Hey, come on, you're, you're, not, you're not paying me nothing to just come up with nothing. <laughs> we couldn't pay you enough. <laughs> <laughs> the monetary value on you, there is none. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I'll remember that. All right. Control now by Manganero. Wide open in front. Nobody could get it to him. Putting on the brakes was Kubata. And skating away now, Atkins, Joey Atkins, three on three. Everybody back for the Quakes, it seems like. He drops it off, puck it with a wow. shot. Say rebound in front, taking a swipe at it. I think that was Peckham 14, he couldn't get it. And skated away by the Aces. Yeah, Blake couldn't get a handle yeah. on that. Would have been nice on the rebound there. Nice patient play by the Quakes. Chairs moving in, he puts on the brakes. He was watched by Puckett, and Chairs sends it back into his own zone. We were talking how these Las Vegas Aces uniforms look really similar to the 495ers one, kind of the color scheme and how it's done. 
They're very well, similar. it's kind of funny. Uh, you know, I actually designed these uniforms, and uh, I think somebody stole it from me, but oh, stop, nothing, stop. No, nothing against Johnny Moe's. <laughs> stop. <laughs> Could have been somebody else. All the action down to our right is the players' battle against the boards. Puck goes behind the Quakes net now. It's Myers over there, sends it back to the point. One-to-one -one game. Aces looking to win and advance. Quakes looking to force a game three later on. Let everybody know the second round will begin at 4 o'clock silly time. That's West Coast. And 7 o'clock <laughs> real time. That's East Coast. Oh, my God. <laughs> Surprised you haven't quoted Alaska and Hawaii time yet. <laughs> I can't figure that out. Yeah, I can't no even, kidding. I can't even figure this. Now, Arizona's one of those. They don't have a uh, daylight savings, so you don't never know what time it is in Arizona. So that, that's one thing I do. I remember. always know what time it is in Arizona. <laughs> Chairs moving in now. Chance to put him in the lead. Shot. Nice big save by Johnson. Keith Johnson, the Quakes goaltender, with a big save. And I'll see how the Quakes got here, Adam. Round one, it was a 7-3 win over the East Bay Jaws, and then a 7-5 win over the Jaws again. They advanced to play Oakland. They won game one in overtime, 5-4. Oakland takes game two, convincingly 6-1. But Silicon Valley comes back with a 5-3 win in game three to upset yeah, the and defending and champs. Two-time defending to, champs. Yeah, and I have to say that was in just In front, shot to wow. score! Slipping in was Timmy Mullis. And he puts the aces up two to one. And, and I tell you, Blake Peckham got caught out of position right there. He knew it right away. And, and sure enough, uh, you know, the aces take advantage there. It's uh, kind, of a, kind of a difficult spot. but uh, Yeah, here it is again. Watch him slip in right here, right down yeah. the slot. And, uh, goal Blake, Blake knew he got beaten and then just didn't realize that uh, the aces still had the puck at that point. Yeah, goalie was dead to rights on that one. Yeah, this is one of those games. You give up that breakaway, and it's one-on-one -on -one against the goalie, yeah. and uh, the goalie doesn't win all the time. Yeah, Aces moving in and again. Shot, that goes high and wide. This time ripping that one was Brendan Lombardo. Yeah, puck was on edge for Brandon. It was. Corsetia would have sent it in front all alone wow. in front. Shot, save, rebound, save again by Johnson, and the puck is loose. Is sliding through. It was Brendan. Uh, no, that was actually, that was, um, yeah, Timmy Mullis again. Yeah, Mullis has been huge yeah. past few minutes. As soon as he you know, gets a chance to get out there, it works for him. Yeah, not picking him up in the slot. <laughs> no, Big saves by Keith Johnson in the quake net. Now glove save. You could hear that one all the way up here. You got you to gotta call Metro, though. A <laughs> little, little, little robbery from the, uh, the goaltending here uh, for Silicon. I'm just going to call it Roji. Okay. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's about as Metro as we get. <laughs> wow. And it's first thing in the morning, too. See, see, Metro is actually Metropolitan Police Department out here. Oh. We, we, do, we do, things, uh, do things a little bit differently oh. out here. Oh. <laughs> and a tripping call coming to the Quakes. Rochi's going to make that call right there. Yeah, it looks like Puckett's Puckett, getting yeah. sat down for that one. Yeah, Puckett's going to go to the box. So I thought it was Roche. <laughs> I will have to mention that to him. I think I've mentioned it to him a couple times. Yeah, we had him up here in the booth. He was, uh, he was a good sport. Oh, I'm come sorry. Up, come on, <laughs> stop. He was, he was good up here. <laughs> Always. Every time we go, he comes up and does a little cameo for us. Now a steal down low. Shot way up high and out of play. Timmy Mullis again. Looking yeah, to go Puck just, uh, yeah. just seems to find his blade. I don't know, yeah. uh, don't know how that works. I mean, if I was that lucky, I, I might not be retired. And again, it is Vegas. I should I should start playing out here more. Maybe I will get lucky. <laughs> I own a black cat. That's probably part of it. Aces control off the draw. Under 10 to go. They're up 2-1. to one. Looking to eliminate the Quakes. In two. That shot. That was blocked nicely. Michael Kubota getting a piece of that one. That's still a Las Vegas man advantage. The next 129. Shot. Oh, the referee's wow. got a duck. Interesting uh, setup for a one-timer there. Yeah, Mullis letting that one rip. He's been a little not high. A, in not a shots. bad guy to let it rip. Well, a little high in his shot, though. Now Kubota blocking it again. Corsetia getting there. He's got a distinct height advantage over there. Now Mullis gets it again. Mullis sends it back to the point. Corsetia goes in the front. Shot. Glove save, and it trickled by Johnson, but he got plenty of it to make the save. Uh, a little pick right there, not picked up yeah, by the yeah, officials. Yeah, uh, Joey Atkins trying to push it by the guy. He's looking at the official, too, like, man, I was gone. And the Aces player just kind of stepped in front of him there. 
drive. It's high and wide. That official might want to find a different place to stand. Wow. Yeah. That's uh, is that is that Will Fortenberry? If I'm I not mistaken, I believe it he's, is. He's yeah. from uh, all the way up in uh, way up in the middle of north northern uh, California. There. Really? <coughs> Isn't that Seattle? Uh, Oregon. Yeah. Somewhere somewhere up there. Yep. So if he's from if he's from Oregon, then he he would have had to duck over here. Oh my oh. God! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Should have brought a club. So I could club you <laughs> like a seal. <laughs> well, welcome to the Ratcast. Yeah. Folks. So two to one our score. <clears throat> anyway, 30 to go there, on the power yeah, play. Yeah, it seems like Vegas has been on a power play this entire game, doesn't it? Uh, yeah, well, I mean, they're, they're patient. They're not really. Uh, they can only, they can only Time shot. Hit a skate. Nearly banked in off of Tyler Myers. They're one for three. Just sitting there. Shot and a save. No rebound from Myers. Trying to push it out with Jacob Hickey and with help. From Spencer Marcus. He yep, does. we got about uh, ten left to go on the uh, on the play. Yeah, so one last drive, shot goes wide. Three seconds to go. Man's coming out of the box. Did they survive it? Nearly had too many men there. As a the guy coming out of the box was changing. Yeah, I got a breakaway now here. Now here's a break. Chance of the Quakes to tie it up. Moving in. Shot saved by Corsetia. Terrific save on Marcus, and the net comes off the moorings. Yeah, puck slid right by him on to the side of the net right there, and that's why the referee did shut the play down. A lot of teams filing in. Delco Demons, Long Island 495ers. Getting set for their game two matchup. That's an interesting mug down there that I recognize. Look, looks like a guy by the name of Flynn. It looks like Flynn, but he's a little larger. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's probably why it looks like him. <laughs> If Flynn ever listens to Andy's broadcast, he's really, he's going to kill me. <laughs> he really is. Nah, that's all right. He's, he's on Long Island. There's no place to go. Atkins with it. Atkins with a shot. Just goes high. Pushed away by the Aces. Seven and a half to go. We played half of this second half. That would be 75%, if my math is correct. <laughs> Something like that. Tyler Myers dishing it off, and the ace is moving in again. De facto, two on one there. Tried to move away from the guy. And Joey Atkins now. A shot and a save by Corsetia. Well, Silicon and Valley's like, pressing a little bit more. A couple more shots here in the second half, and uh, they're getting the opportunities. Got to, you know, they'll be closing in on something soon. They get a little more life than they did. Game one, they just were flat. They were real flat. No, it's not a not an easy trip to come in from uh, the San Jose area. It's not. Really? That's a long drive. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Road trip that uh, they they can only extend with a win here. Yep. Myers with it. The Las Vegas shot deflected by Hickey. Rebound in front. Save it. Bounces up in the air. Luckily for goaltender Keith Johnson, it rolled behind the net. Myers dishing it off to Chairs, and Chairs sends it all the way back to center. Yeah, Johnny's holding him in, holding him in as much as he can do right now. 6.30 left to go. One goal game here. And you're watching live coverage of the American Inline Hockey League. Two on two. Two on two. Aces break it in. And they'll be patient with it. They know they got the lead, so they're working the puck back. Going to play a little chess. All the way back from behind their own net here. Not gonna, not gonna try and make any mistakes. Give the puck away. Oh, great chance moving in. Maybe a hook there. They usually call that when you go well, to three on two. If the Quakes can hurry yeah. here and set something up, Quakes might have got away with one. Puck goes in the corner. Everybody battling for it. Quakes are gonna get some possession time here. See what they do with it. Looks like they're going to be patient, look to set something up. Plenty of time and space here. Play to the back door didn't work too well. And we have a penalty upcoming. Got an interference call coming up. Didn't see who against who. Yeah, we're checking and saying we got a little echo on the audio. I don't know if that's... Us, or it could be the room. The, the room is very echoey, so I don't know. The, if the room is very echoey. So I don't is that know. a word? So I don't know if that's it. We'll turn down the levels a little bit and see if 
if that helps out at all. Well, there's going to be a timeout taken here. The, uh, the penalty did go against uh, Silicon Valley. Uh, uh, appeared to be a uh, pick right in front of the net that was set up and uh, took down a, uh, a Vegas player. So uh, going to get a 30-second uh, timeout here for Silicon Valley, and they're going to regroup and uh, try and set something up. Sure, uh, Blake Peckham is right there uh, asking the officials uh, what was going on with the call, and you know, be be interesting to see uh, what both teams send out here in the next 10 seconds, and try and get everything going towards uh, the rest of the game here. Sounds good from here. <laughs> yeah, sounds good from here, but it, once you go over the Internet, anything's possible. <laughs> yeah, no. you, you said that. You, no, in, you invented you, that, too. If, no, if you've ever used Skype oh, um, yeah. and things like that, there, there can be an Internet echo. I don't know all the discs behind it. but Man, that was that was a heck of an echo right there with yeah, that, that puck was, against the yeah, wall. Yeah, that's where our mic is downstairs, <laughs> right there. So we're going to check on the audio right now, and hopefully we can get it squared away. Uh, the Quakes now. Have the man. Wow. In. Actually, the Quakes are down by a man. The penalty. Yeah, they are. The penalty was against them in front of the net for uh, interference. And uh, wow, just some just some great possession time there uh, out of the Quakes. A little three on two here for the Aces. Yeah, pass in front. Little dipsy do. The shot hit a skate and goes wide. Uh, I tell you, if you if you had to put a race together of uh, all the, all the guys out here, I'd say the fastest guy is uh, definitely number twelve for the Quakes. It's Spencer Marquis and. Uh, He's going to take the puck and try and fire it out and misses, and the aces are coming down now. Three on three down low. Boy, that sounds a lot worse than it really is. Uh, puck's chipped out of play there as uh, we'll get a face off down low. Four ten left to go. Forty seconds left in the power play here for the Aces. Wow, big blast off the crossbar there. James Maganaro. Face off will stay down low. I'm not sure if it got deflected off of something, but uh, face off will stay in deep for the Aces. Four all three left to go in this one goal game. Thirty six left in the Aces power play. And back and forth to Manganero now. And we got a goal for the Aces there. Yeah, shot and a score. As they get themselves up 3-1, three to one, 3.53 left now in the yeah. second half here. Three to one. Check one, two, as we get our audio levels here. Quake's going to need to get something going here with 340 left. Wide open. Big save by Corsatia down there. Ace is going to try and catch a break. Three on three into the zone. Just push down low. Little uh, protest down low. They said one of the Aces players was on top of the puck. Check one. And then a then a hand pass whistled down. Yeah, 
Yeah, still trying to. Yeah. Mode. Faceoff's going to be brought out the center now. Got to got to see exactly uh, what the Quakes are going to do now to try and get one back and then possibly pull the goaltender and look for anything right now. Sense of frustration definitely shows on a couple of the Quakes. Uh, their heads are rolling uh, up in the air and a little frustrated right now, but keep battling. You still got three minutes left. And looks like the Aces are going to be whistled down for a uh, penalty in the corner there. Be a roughing penalty. The draw will stay down there, giving Silicon Valley the chance that they need. Yeah. Big chance here for the Quakes to kind of get back in this with just under three minutes to go. As we continue to work on the audio here. We apologize. We don't. We haven't changed anything since last night. That's the crazy thing is we just plugged in, and, and here we are having a little bit of echo issues here. All right, the Aces are going to step all the way back, giving the Quakes an opportunity to walk in. Shot saved. Nobody in front for the Quakes. Yeah, it comes all the way out to center again on the play. And giving Chase a little bit with chairs, but he backs off. Yep, going to stay defensive with a two-goal lead here. Quakes again setting up on the very exterior of the rink. Now they send somebody in, in front. front. Yeah, wow. nice save, Corsetia. The one-time pass. Wow, what a play, what a save. And he made the save. 1.15 to go in the power play. Two minutes left to go in the half. Ouch. Off the post. Quakes are going to set up here again. Down low, shot, save, and it goes off the backboards. Back out on the right side now. As they look to move it down low. Aces have it there, and they're going to clear it all the way down. Going to give them about 40 seconds left on the power play. A minute and a half left to go now. Will the Quakes pull their goaltender and look for even more of an attacker as the shot goes up in the air right in front? Of course, yeah. Tia's going to pounce down on that. And he hangs on to that one. They're going to need a big, big question here is with, uh, with any sense of desperation, why aren't they pulling their goaltender? Down two. If I could give him the extra attacker on the power play. 24 left in that power play. A minute 17 in the second. That's what we have left to go. Fire it all the way down. They come back half court. Setting up again. Finally getting somebody in front of the net. Yeah, down to a minute to go in this one, Adam. They need, still need a pair. I'm, I'm still trying to figure out why the goaltender's still down here. There you go. Big play in front. They, they score. got it. Wow. So they score right at the end of the power play. 53 seconds to go. And That's huge. And now 3-2. to two. That is huge right there. Finally sending somebody to the net, taking the opportunities, and having somebody there for either a rebound or being able to chip that in. That's, that's amazing. Quake's still got some life left in them, but they only got 53 seconds to play. So, There goes Johnson. Yeah, goalie's going out now. Last just chance shot just went wide. Terrific chance. Jacob Hickey nearly tied the game, so it's five on four. Empty net, Aces trying to put this away. Pass in front, and this is going to be an open net goal for all the Aces, Corsetia. Everything just fell into place on that shift in number 88. Yeah, it's weird how the puck finds yeah. your stick sometimes. Darren Corsetia is going to score that one into the open goal with 39 seconds to go, or 35 seconds to go, and that just might end the season for Silicon Valley. I could definitely say it was a quakey series. It was. They just weren't shaken as much as they needed to be shaken. A long flip pass in on the goalie. Johnson pushes it up on the wing and on his horse is Marcus with it. 
Now they need two. Shot, that just went wide. Oh, and off the official. <laughs> yeah, and it hit the official. Yeah, you knew one was going to hit him the way the pucks are flying yeah, off the Yeah, it was. Line. Now Las Vegas pushes it out, and that should just about do it. We got six seconds to go. Vegas up by a pair. The Quakes bringing up over center. Long desperation shot saved by Corsetier at the buzzer. And the Las Vegas Aces will advance to the finals as they will represent the Western Conference. Well, I tell you, hats off to the Quakes, though. A heck of a season, without a doubt. I mean, uh, you know, coming out, uh, coming out of their division and, uh, you know, upsetting the defending champions. Uh, Give them a little uh, opportunity to get here to Vegas and then, you know, putting up uh, as much of a fight as they could after a long road trip here. And, uh, you know, hats off to, uh, to Mike Anoy, the staff, the, all the players there. Uh, they uh, did a very good job as best they could. So, again, our final score here in game two. It's Las Vegas Aces four, Silicon Valley Quakes two. Las Vegas takes this series two games to none. Up next, we have an elite matchup, game two, between the Long Island 495ers and the Delco Demons. And this has been a good one here. to see the Demons record 24-0-0-1. And, and Long Island 495ers 22-2. One of those losses coming to the Demons so at again, the festival. So, again, should be a good one. Absolutely. And then right after that, we have our only game three so far of the first round. And that will be the same two teams, but in the minors. Las Vegas Aces taking on Silicon Valley Quakes in the minors division. Again, should be yep. another fun one. Tier 2. And again, beginning at 4 o'clock today, we have the beginning of the second round. And that will kick off with minor Tier 2 action. The New England Insanity Black waiting to see who they will play, whether it be the Silicon Valley Quakes or the Las Vegas Aces. Then at 4.45, we have the minor Tier 1. And that is going to be Delco Demons Black taking on the OC Vanquish White. And then at 6 o'clock, it's our elite matchup. It'll be these Las Vegas Aces versus either Long Island or Delco. And if, if necessary, I believe Delco, if Long Island defeats Delco here in this next game, and if I'm not mistaken, that game would be played at 11.45 here. If you're not mistaken, you're always Las mistaken. Las Vegas time, yeah, because <laughs> we have the game three here, mm -hmm. and I believe they're going to slide up. That's a what potential the schedule. That's what the schedule says. <laughs> potential game <laughs> three over oh. here. So we got a few minute breaks. We're going to see if we can maybe address this audio issue. Don't know if it's internet or what it is, but good luck with that. Yeah, we'll be back with more action next.